Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. By this time, many of you have packed away your trees, although I expect since this year is quite different, some of us will keep them up much longer than normal. We always keep ours up through Epiphany as we celebrate Christmas all 12 days. The song, The 12 Days of Christmas, has never been a favorite of mine. The only version I like is the Muppet arrangement and mostly because of Miss Piggy scooping her way through five gold rings. <laughs> Whether you like the song or not, the explanation is fun. Some legends say it was written as a secret way of teaching the catechism during a period of religious oppression. Others say the catechism was fit into the song as a way to help children remember it. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. The partridge is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. In the song, Christ is symbolically presented as a mother partridge known to feign injury to decoy predators from her helpless nestlings. This image brings to mind the expression of Christ's sadness over the fate of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often would I have sheltered you under my wings as a hen does her chicks, but you would not have it so. On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two turtle doves, the Old and New Testaments, which together bear witness to God's self-revelation in history and the creation of a people to tell the story of God to the world. On the third day of Christmas, my true love sent to me three French hens, three theological virtues, faith, hope, and love. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me four calling birds, the four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which proclaim the good news of God's reconciliation of the world to himself in Jesus Christ. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me five gold rings, the first five books of the Old Testament, known as the Torah or the Pentateuch, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, which gives the history of humanity's sinful failure and God's response of grace in the creation of a people to be a light to the world. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me six geese laying, six days of creation that confesses God as creator and sustainer of the world. Seven swans are swimming, the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, prophecy, ministry, teaching, exhortation, giving, leading, and compassion. On the eighth day, eight maids are milking, the eight beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, those who mourn, the meek, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, the merciful, the pure in heart, the peacemakers, those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me nine ladies dancing, nine fruits of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. 10 Lords a leaping, the 10 commandments, 11 pipers piping, the 11 faithful apostles, the list does not include the 12th disciple, Judas Iscariot. On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love sent to me 12 drummers drumming, the 12 points of doctrine in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. The true love of the song, the giver of gifts, is the God who created us. May it be a gift we are all able to share.